Well, the fight continues after Chicago Public Schools announced a plan to go mask optional next week. WGN's Megan Dwyer is live outside Bell Elementary in the North Center neighborhood with more on this. Megan. Yes, the Chicago's Teachers Union and CPS, they are at odds yet again about this mask issue. CPS today, Pedro Martinez saying they are not going to institute this option until Monday, so they have time to train their teachers on what to expect. Every week it gets lower. As vaccination rates climb and COVID cases fall, CPS is preparing teachers and students to wear a mask or not as of Monday. You know, it's perfectly fine for children to wear masks, perfectly fine for some children, you know, not to, not to choose uh, to wear a mask. It really is about your comfort level. For some, it's about time and a welcome change. I don't understand how people can be so afraid. We are causing fear in our children. But the move has enraged a lot of parents. It seemed ridiculous. I'm sorry your kid has to wear a mask. I'm sorry you can't go and see your kid in the dance show. This is about life or death. CPS says 47% of kids between the ages of 5 and 11 are now vaccinated. That number, though, isn't high enough to please some parents. Have to isolate, have to take time off work, have to go through the trauma of am I going to get sick? Those are just not worth it for the privilege of removing a mask. The Chicago Teachers Union says it flies in the face of their January safety agreement with the district. CTU is vowing to fight it. CPS says COVID infection rates are at their lowest since school started. Given the high rates of vaccination among teachers, top health officials say it's safe to take those masks off, but parents don't believe the data. We know what's going on in my, our schools. I know that there should be cases and they're not reporting cases. So no, we don't trust it. That's what we've been saying this entire time. We don't trust CPS. CTU has filed here an unfair labor practices charge. They are trying to get the district to come back to the bargaining table to discuss the mask issue. I'm live on the North Side tonight. Megan Dwyer, WGN News. All right, I'll take it from you. Thank you, Megan.